In these problems, we are applying the order of operations with fractions. So we've got multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, but with fractions. So we have to do these things in the right order, and we have to use all we know about fractions, like we can't add or subtract fractions unless they have common denominators, and so on. So let's, let's try this first one and see how far we can get. I've got 1 sixth divided by 2 fifths plus 1 third. Well, let's apply the order of operations first. Order of operations says this part of the problem needs to be done first, division before addition. So let's try that, 1 sixth divided by 2 fifths. How do you divide fractions? Well, the method you should have learned is that you multiply by the reciprocal. So this one that you're dividing by, you flip it upside down. So instead of 2 fifths, we get 5 halves. And then you can go ahead and multiply. So that's the same thing as 1 6 divided by 2 fifths, 1 6 multiplied by 5 halves. So when we multiply, we do across the top and across the bottom. So I'm going to get 5 twelfths. So this problem here comes down to 5 twelfths plus 1 third. Now we have an addition problem to do. And you can't add fractions unless the denominators are the same. And in this case, I know that 12 is a multiple of 3. 3 times 4 is 12. So if I multiply just this fraction by 4 over 4, I should get 12 for a denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. So 1 times 4 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So we have our 5 twelfths. And then the second part of this becomes 4 twelfths. Now we've got common denominators. We can go ahead and add these fractions. 5 plus 4 is 9. So this is 9 twelfths. I'm still not done, though. I've got one fraction, but this can be um, simplified. I can divide the top by 3 and the bottom by 3, and that would give me 3 fourths. So a lot of steps there. Uh, dividing a fraction is multiplying by the reciprocal. You need to get common denominators to add them, and then we need to simplify. But eventually, we got there. Let's try one more for practice. So first, let's look at this in terms of the order of operations. We've got subtraction, and we've got division. So the division part has to come first. So we're going to do 1 half, and instead of divided, we're going to change this to multiply and flip the second fraction upside down, so 7 sixths. So let's go ahead and multiply across the top and bottom, and we get 1 times 7 is 7, 2 times 6 is 12. So this whole chunk here is 7 twelfths. So we can rewrite this problem as 3 fourths minus 7 twelfths. Now, to do this subtraction, we need to have the denominators the same. Looks like 12 is a multiple of 4, so this should be pretty easy. I can multiply by 3 over 3. 3 times 4 on the bottom here is going to be 12. So and when we multiply across the top here, we're going to get 9. So let me rewrite this problem now as 9 twelfths minus 7 twelfths. That looks pretty easy. 9 minus 7 is 2, and those are twelfths. Uh, and then both of these can be divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. So this comes down to 1 sixth. So that is a little bit of work with the order of operations as it applies to fractions.